Lush, and I'm here at the Hub Culture Pavilion in Davos. Very pleased to be joined by Lawrence Krauss, best-selling author, director of the Origins Project at ASU. Nice to be here. You've got space on your mind. Tell me a little <laughs> bit about it. Well, space is pretty big, as you can see. It but, is. Uh, and we're, we, we, most people feel kind of tragic that we're stuck here on Earth. You see all these science fiction movies about people going throughout the galaxy. And there's a lot of talk about traveling through space. But what we've learned is in the real world, the human exploration of space is both costly and extremely dangerous. As a, as a physicist, we've explored the universe back to the earliest moments, the Big Bang. We have incredible satellites. We have rovers on, on Mars. As I often like to say, it costs as much to put a rover on Mars as it does to make a movie about sending Bruce Willis to Mars. <laughs> Humans are, are, are not the best way to explore space. We're kind mm -hmm. of built to be here on Earth. We're bags mm -hmm. of water. And uh, if we look at the scientific benefits of space exploration, Generally, it's come from non-human-based uh, uh, space exploration. Because when we send humans into space, not only do they die a lot, which is, of course, a problem. And right. I think, frankly, I think it will be a problem for uh, uh, space tourism. Mm -hmm. It's going to it, the, there will be an accident, and when mm -hmm. that happens, it's going to well, it, we've it's already seen change. some accidents exactly. Right? And and uh, uh, it's, but most of the most of the money spent to send humans into space is spent on get, keeping them alive there mm -hmm. and getting them back. So about ninety nine percent of the money spent on space exploration is to keep the humans alive, mm -hmm. whereas if you send out robots, which are much better designed mm -hmm. to uh, explore space, you can do a lot more for a lot less. So although it seems a less, little less sexy mm -hmm. to have a robot in space, on the, on the other hand, when, I'm, when I watch the, the pictures coming from the rovers on Mars. I feel like I'm on Mars just as much if, as if some astronaut were Absolutely. taking pictures. Absolutely, I love the NASA picture of the day. I look forward to it every it, day. It, it's amazing, and we can and we can send robots and satellites to places in our solar system where humans will never explore. Maybe one day we're talking about sending uh, devices to probe the oceans of Europa looking for life. The, the, the places we can explore with, with, with machines are incredible. And with humans, right now we have them boringly going around the right. earth about the same distance between New York and, and Boston. I often say the best scientific experiment you could do with the International Space Station is to let it fall in the ocean and see how big a wave it would <laughs> anyway. So where do you think, where, would you, where do you expect we'll see robotic um, exploration of space? Everywhere, I think. And the thing is, robots are improving by leaps and bounds. Right now, it's sure, if we had a geologist on Mars, they could do a better job. But in 20 years, it's not clear. I think we'll see it in Mars. I think, I think we'll see it in Europa. We'll see it, I think, earlier on on the moon. And uh, uh, I think that we won't see humans. Although people, my, I have friends of mine who are trying to finance projects mm -hmm. to send humans into space, humans to Mars. I don't think we're going to see it in, you know, even in our lifetime. It's just incredibly expensive. All right, I've got to ask you, um, what about mining asteroids for rare earth minerals? Well, you know, I, I, it, again, it sounds sexy, but there's a lot of earth here. Mm -hmm. And it's a heck of a lot easier to mine here on earth, even remote places on earth. I don't yet see a business model that makes it cost effective to find rare earths on on. on on distant satellites, unless we, uh, you know, use them all up on here on Earth, and I think uh, on the whole we're going to find it's a lot easier to explore here on Earth than out in space. Again, some people may be disappointed, but uh, at so least you're there's telling me you don't want to go to space. Oh, I'd love to. When I was a kid, I I, I watched the uh, astronauts go to the moon. I'd love to go into space. It's a it'd be a tremendous joyride, and that, by the way, is probably the chief benefit of sending humans into space. Mm -hmm. Is that it excites young people. It excites people to, I've been with astronauts every once in a while to touch them. <laughs> and I think the reason is, frankly, because they might die when they're there. And that's part of what creates the dramatic tension, as, as sad mm -hmm. as that sounds. But it is part, uh, I'm not against human space exploration, but just for adventure. Primarily, it's for adventure. The science is best done by other things. Dr. Krauss, thank you so much for joining us here at the Hub Culture Pavilion in Pleasure. Davos. And I'm Edie Lush. Thank you.